I told her. Hi everybody, it is Kim Lopasic and Diane Lopasic and welcome to another episode of Cider After Dark. Um, it is Friday, August 28th. It is 3.40, but we have been really busy and which is awesome, we're super pumped about that, but it's time for a drink. Like we were it gonna is. do this at three and we're getting to it at 3.40. So right. I think we were pretty good. But we did get it before four o'clock. Yes. We have a big delivery. We have a big four. delivery. And we don't know if it's at, it's sometime between four sometime. and five. So um, somebody had told me about this during off season, sheepdog peanut butter whiskey. So we're gonna try um, adding that to our oh. apple cider. Um, and then we're gonna, do you think we do this after or first? this then we're at some point we're gonna add some scrappies chocolate bitters again we'd love to use a different one but like what goes better with peanut butter than chocolate absolutely so we gotta go with that and then just because we can no longer just mix one thing at a time we're gonna try adding some of this praline um, pecan liqueur we did this last year it's super good just with cider alone but um, I bought another bottle because ours was gone from last year and it feels like it's time to try it again. I think so. And enjoy it again. And then Diane got these fancy, fancy ice cubes. Very fancy. That um, I think they're just rocks. Re yeah. Right? Refreezable. Yes. So okay. you would freeze them. And so we can just rinse them off. We don't have to go to the house for ice mm -hmm. and we can put them back in the freezer. Device right every time so we don't have to worry about that so, so that's yeah. awesome all right so let's start i think do we need one or two shots of peanut butter whiskey well um two probably two yeah it's been a busy day so i don't want to smell it mm. smells peanut buttery mm. good if it wasn't covid i would take a sip but i like we're gonna have to share this for a while yeah not that I have COVID, I'm just saying I'm being extra cautious because of COVID. Okay, so then we're gonna add some cider. I'll leave space for the praline. I know we could just make it all at once, but it's good to see how things, oh, we need a stir stick. Oh, stir stick. While she's getting the stir stick, I'm gonna add in um, two, um, I think I got these ice cubes um, last Christmas time for Diane in the mm -hmm. Target dollar area. Um, this is, I'm just gonna add two because we realized last time that one didn't do enough. That's right. So two dropperfuls of chocolate. Mm -hmm. We have extra fancy stir sticks today. Yeah, it's hard to stir with the ice cubes. It is hard to stir. They're like hardcore ice cubes. They don't have um, those nice round edges. That most yeah, they don't stuff. clink. Okay, whatever. Feels nice and cold though. Does it? Good. Okay, cheers. cheers. Good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. You got the peanut butter, you got the chocolate. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's almost like up. eating, if we had, we shouldn't, we don't have peanut butter chocolate, um, caramel apples. No. If we did, which we're not, don't, don't get excited. <laughs> not gonna happen here. It's not happening. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. like I'm like super thirsty. I'm just gonna chug this tonight. It's gonna be bad. Well, we're only open for another hour and 15 minutes. I'm in charge of dinner. I was going to say, I thought you were cooking. I am cooking. I'm very excited. So I'm going to make um, breaded chicken, uh, zucchini fritters, and a tomato uh, mozzarella, like balsamic vinegar salad type thing. So I'm actually just mostly excited because I actually have an idea for dinner. So if you guys have any other ideas that are good for dinner, feel free to post because I feel like that's like the worst question in our house is what's for dinner. I'm gonna add more cider just because I drink a lot of wine. Do you want any more or are you good? I think I'm good. Okay. I'm super thirsty, so this way I won't go <laughs> Right, this crazy. way you get, yeah. More cider, it'll take longer to get to the end of the first drink. Yes. So, the other thing we decided is we're gonna start naming these beverages because as I was like posting the last one up to YouTube, it had so many ingredients in it. I'm like, I really just need to come up with a name. So the one with the, the black cherry rum and all that other stuff is gonna be called the Dandy Red. So we're gonna have drinks named after apples. I think it'll be fun. So we have to pick something that we have on the shelves right now will be the name of this drink. Okay. Cheers well, again. Cheers. I think that's even better. I do too. I agree. Yeah. That is amazing. Okay. Wow. Um, it's definitely sweet. 
which yeah. honestly right now the cider is in its tart stage right so this is like this is not personally my favorite time to drink cider mm -hmm. i mean it's still good it's like i mean you haven't drank it in forever so you're like oh my god this is like amazing but it is tart so adding these peanut butter and the mm -hmm. praline and mm -hmm. the chocolate wow it's very good yeah i'm gonna be in a lot of trouble mm. It's only three shots of booze. Okay, so final recipe. It's good for the first 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um, final recipe, it is um, two shots, of, two of the bigger sides of the jigger. Is that just one shot? Yeah, right? I think so. Yeah. So two of those of the sheepdog peanut butter whiskey, one shot of praline, pecan stuff. I got these both at Woodman's. And um, two dropperfuls of scrappy chocolate bitters, which we are selling at the orchard. Um, but it comes in a four pack, you can't just buy one thing. And then top it off with cider and of course ice cubes, stir her up with a fancy stir stick. Mm -hmm. and enjoy. Awesome. Very awesome. Cool. All right guys, thanks so much for joining us. I uh, hope you, uh, I don't know, have a great day. Yeah. All right, bye now. <laughs>